another season. Great to see everybody here. Some familiar faces. Most of my life. <laughs> uh, start the questions. A good, good opening win. And I uh, thought our players played very hard and they played well together. Very uh, impressed with their defense and uh, how they shared the ball. We took good shots most of the night and, and played pretty well. Andy, I got to ask you, now that the Elite Eight season is over, you know, and tonight finally to have a game where you have fans, what was it like for you tonight, coaching? This I thought it was great. Our student, we had really good student support tonight. We were about 1,000 students there early, and that makes a big difference. And I know the late arriving crowds in Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, so um, it's nice to see a lot of the season ticket holders, the loyal basketball fans here at SC. and. It was just great to see people in the stands. Last year was a very unique year, obviously, but it was tough on our players because um, we were pretty good last year and had nobody be able to enjoy our team. It was, was tough on our guys. And my last question is about the game tonight. Uh, definitely, um, Boogie tonight. I mean, 9 for 11, he was just awesome. Like, can you talk to us about him, the way he played tonight? Yeah, Boogie is a dynamic scorer. He's a... Uh, He's a true lead guard. He can make plays for his teammates. You saw down the stretch, he made some very nice passes off the ball screen action. He sees seeing the floor much better now. He's become a better on the ball and helps out a defender. So as he grows as a player, it's fun to watch. I think tonight you saw that. Not a lot to negatively take away from this game other than maybe the turnovers. Well, I thought we turned the ball over too much in the first half. We only had three in the second half. So we ended up with 15 assists, 10 turnovers. I think it was seven to seven in the first. So. Yeah, the first half we had some silly turnovers. We don't like to turn the ball over seven times and a half. But other than that, uh, you're right. It's hard to uh, pick anything negative. Uh, holding a team of 49 points, I thought they had some good offensive players. And uh, we, we challenged most shots, had six blocks and uh, eight steals. What? In games like this, what are you looking for? I'm sorry? In games like this, what are you looking for? Blowout wins like this, what are you looking for from the team, even throughout being up 20 plus? Well, you say in a blowout, well, you, we take every team seriously. We don't know we're going to blow a team out. We just played really well in the first half. I, I was very proud of our players, how they came out with intensity. They shared the ball, and they, they played outstanding defense. And so that's how we built the lead. And uh, we don't uh, we played for 40 minutes tonight. I, I, everybody that came off the bench, if you notice, we had 13 scholarship players. They all played. Mm -hmm. And they're competing for playing time. They're trying to prove themselves as well. And, and so it, uh, we have really good depth this year. It's the deepest team we've had. Uh, our, our, the last unit that we had in there with four freshmen in Bubakar uh, is a pretty good team. In fact, in practice, when they're together, sometimes they beat the, uh, the upperclassmen and the guys with experience. And, and so I think uh, uh, we'll, we'll play every possession like it means something, and no matter how many points we're, we're up or down. What stood out about the defense? Well, our experienced guys got, got off to a great start. They uh, understand the coverages. They know how to help each other, and they rotated very well tonight. Speaking of your depth, um, you know, 27 bench points, it's almost a third of your team's points tonight. Um, you know, just how important is that going to be going forward and knowing that, you know, you've got that deep roster that, you know, they can come in and, and contribute when you need them to? Well, it's a long season, so you need depth and you need players to come off the bench. I think uh, we'll have no numerous starting lineups throughout the year. I, I think uh, we have a lot of guys that do deserve to start certain games, and I think you'll see that. But... Uh, it is nice to have that bench support because we have we can play big, we can play small, and if the guys off the bench are productive, it, it certainly helps the team. You had 52 paint points tonight. What do you owe the success? Uh, well, we were bigger than them, but our, our big guys scored in the paint, and our guards were able to get in there a few times. Isaiah and Chavez and, and, and I thought Bubacar did a good job. Josh Morgan, they they, they uh, did a nice job of finishing, and then when our guards were able to get floaters. Getting the paint, I thought they did a nice job as well. Did you learn anything new tonight? Anything new? Uh, not really. It, it, it's nice. Uh, we haven't played a real game. We played two scrimmages. We also had two intra squad scrimmages with officials. So, so we've been playing games that didn't mean anything on your record. Uh, the lights turned on with fans in the, in the arena. So, so what I learned was that, that it was fun to play in front of fans again. It reminded me of that. Uh, March Madness, we had fans, it was limited capacity. So we did have fans last year, but it took Everybody had to go to Indianapolis to watch us play. Uh, it was nice for the home uh, home crowd and to see some familiar faces and our players to uh, enjoy that moment. What did it feel like to get rushed by those fans after the game with all the t-shirts? Oh, oh, with all the, the young fans, yes, the children? That was great. Uh, 
it was funny. I, they, they wanted my autograph. I don't know why, but but then they saw Isaiah Mobley and they all rushed. Said, "Hey!" <laughs> they all rushed to him, so it gave me a little break. Go one last one. The pregame ceremony, the unveiling of the banner and the rings, what does that say about where the program is at right now? Well, I think USC basketball, it was an important moment for us to, to make a deep run because it's the second Elite Eight in the last 67 years. And uh, our team has been good the last six years with, with 134 wins. I think it's 13th in the nation among the six power conferences. So we've been good for six years, won 21 games, five out of the last six years, and six guys in the NBA. So. Uh, what we haven't done is, is we, we didn't make a deep run in the tournament. The year before, we were 22-9. and nine. I thought that team could have been a Sweet 16 team. We were really good and, and really tough. And, of course, uh, uh, the Met 2 and McLaughlin years, we, we were pretty good, too. They had 26 wins in one year, set the school record, and won two games in the tournament. Uh, so that year, we were, we were Sweet 16 or Elite 8 good. We just lost the last 30 seconds of Baylor uh, in, in that one game. So uh, I, I think uh, uh, last year was a great season to – show where the program has come uh, and, and a lot of players and hard work by the coaching staff has gone into that and, and so uh, Evan Mobley gets a lot of the credit but he had a lot of good teammates last year and uh, Evan is just a terrific talent uh, but we were a really well-rounded team last season uh, and, and uh, it's been like that for a few years so, so I think um, as we move forward uh, we want to recognize those young men like we did tonight the banner and uh, the AD Mike Bone gave, gave them rings to commemorate that and I think that's a special moment because they'll have those rings for a long time, the rest of their lives, and there'll be a, there'll be a connection between that elite elite eight team, just like the two thousand one team that people talk about. And so, so look, we would love to go to the final four this year and move, keep moving on. Uh, uh, but uh, to, to recognize a team that's done something special here at USC, I think was appropriate and, and very very well received by our players. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Thanks.